this is a strip till machine that we're at the uh, Maryland Research and Education Center. This is their machine. They actually have two machines here. One is a single row, uh, which would require a little less horsepower. Uh, this happens to be a dual row machine here, two row machine. Uh, typically, you'd want to have at least about a 75 horsepower uh, tractor to pull this because they are uh, you are doing some tillage, and tillage does require uh, horsepower. The other reason is because this is a fairly heavy unit. And so uh, lighter tractors, you know, less than 55, 60 horsepower might not be able to pick this unit up very well. The single row, you'd probably be able to get, get by with a 50 horsepower, 45 horsepower tractor. So uh, Dave, what makes up this system? How does, how does it actually work? Well, actually, what we're looking at here, Ben, is a series of cultures, and they're very heavy cultures. And it, you, these are wavy cultures, which give you good soil, actually. But the, culture, the choice of cultures is, is something that's very important. It's based on soil type as to what cultures that you typically use. So we have a series of cultures, a lead culter, and then two, two uh, a simultaneous side-by-side -side cultures, and then a rolling basket to do the leveling. Again, like Ben said, a very heavy machine. We do have this set up on a 36-inch row centers. Um, that matches our monosem planter. And of course, if you were using a transplanter, um, you know, you would probably want to use the single machine because we typically use a single row transplanter for we're going direct uh, transplanted vegetables. But um, this allows us then with that monosem to go direct seeded right into these strip-tilled areas. And if you look at the, the width of this basket, it's about a foot. So really you're going to till about eight inches. About eight inches of, of this foot rolling basket are going to be a well-tilled zone. And that kind of corresponds to the width of those active of those cultures up front. Okay. It's important to sock those cultures down very deeply. Again, uh, it takes it requires a heavy machine um, in order to get down into that soil. Um, that's especially true if we do our later summer tillages where it grounds a little bit harder. But okay. in the spring here, it's going to be very easy. We've got good moisture conditions, and this you'll see this uh, very uh, work this ground very well. And we'll get that good uh, eight, probably eight inch of working area. So we'll put the rule down there when we get this from this machine, and we'll see how well we did. So let's take a look at these cultures. They sell different cultures with different uh, widths of, of, the, of the wave there that, that will affect how aggressive this culture is. But you can see this is the first culture that's going to slice through that trash and uh, begin to make that seed zone. Followed by that, you can see we have another set, a dual set of cultures here that follow that, and these are very aggressive. You can see they have about a two inch uh, wave there, and so they're uh, really gonna work that soil. And again, uh, we're gonna be taking these cultures down to a depth of, of around six inches, so it's gonna work a fairly good depth. And then next you have the rolling baskets. Uh, which Dave was, was pointing out here. We have two rolling baskets and uh, these kind of level that ground and, and provide that firm seed bed for you. Uh, where it gets tricky with a rolling basket is that uh, if you have tall standing cover like rye uh, or real thick residue, a lot of times if you, if you try to go across that when it's been mowed or if you try to go across it when it's been crimped uh, and it's a, it's a dry material, it'll often wrap uh, around, the, uh, around the rolling basket. So that takes a little bit of getting used to and uh, and just adjusting the machinery. So, uh, Dave, when we um, when we got to use this um, piece of, uh, of equipment, what are some of the adjustments that we could make when we get started here? I well, see we, have, got... we have depth wheels on here, so we're going to make sure anytime you run any piece of, of machinery in the farm, first thing you want to do is going to run run the machinery level, and all, then also adjust to the depth, the working depth in this case that you want to achieve with this particular implement. So implements are designed for the frames to run level, so we're going to make sure we drop these gauge wheels um, equally so that the machine runs level, and then we're going to also watch for the depth, and we can control depth there. We can also control depth on initial culture adjustments, but we don't typically want to make those adjustments um, uh, very often. We want to make the field adjustments here with the leveling of, of these gauge wheels. Now, Another very important aspect that we don't have on this particular machine that we can add is a conditioning chain. If we would like to go deeper or address some subsoil compaction issues, an ad additional shank can be added that would actually alleviate compaction problems. So we could be even a little bit more aggressive. It would take more horsepower, uh, noticeably more horsepower actually, and, but it could be added to this particular machine. So that's a shank uh, that goes down, <clears throat> would even go down even a little farther than the uh then the cultures there and actually work almost like a subsoil shank or a conditioning shank for the soil. And it would okay. replace the lead culture shank. And uh, so we have a 120 horsepower tractor here that's hooked to it internationally. But we have a three point hitch and we have a top link linkage then is adjustable. And in this linkage then we, that's where we get the leveling. Now you can see it's not level now but when we put it in the ground it will be level. 
and so it's adjusted in the working in the working position for level. So you would either lengthen or shorten this top link. Uh, lengthening it is going to make the tail end go down. Shortening it is going to make the tail end go up. So you want to make sure you get this initial adjustment uh, correct when you when you hook the machinery up. And that's a really good point, man, because when you'll notice is you might want a more aggressive app application of the rolling baskets which means you would lengthen the top arm to put them down in a more aggressive posture to the soil or vice versa you might find that you're actually the, the baskets are too aggressive and the shanks uh, the, chil the cultures themselves are not and then you would need to shorten that top length to get the more aggressive nature out of the cultures and less aggressive out of the basket so that's the part of that leveling so that all the components are doing their task um, the way that you really want the outcome.